out of the car. Better please do as your aunt says. You know she's always been like this, extra independent, overly headstrong all the time. Well then you should be used to it. <gasps> Move over. Hi, me. Mira. Mira, this is a good boy. He is studying to be a doctor. Great. Maybe he can cure you if you're back with thinking. Peter, why can't you just meet with him? That's all. Mira, we only want what's best for you. No, you want what's best for you. So let's do something. I I'm Switzerland, ma'am. I want a career. I have dreams, so I should get to choose. So choose. We've given you so many options. I choose me. I choose me. No, 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 no. You can't marry yourself. At least I'll be with someone that I love. You know this love shove thing of yours. So much for being Switzerland. What is the point of knowing everything about the person you love before the marriage? It's boring. Ask your uncle. Do something. Bitta. Come on. Bitta, listen. Meera. God, look at what she's done. I want freedom. Meera, marriage is freedom. You will get your inheritance and the freedom to do whatever you want to do after you are married. Please, Meera, I had promised your mother that I would see to it that you were settled. Meera, she loved you, but she was worried about your future. Just meet him. If not for me, at least for her. I don't care. Just tell them yes. What does it matter if I meet them now or after the wedding? This belonged to your mother. It's been passed down for generations. I'm sure she'd have wanted you to wear it. Kavita, it will take us time to reach the venue. We also have to load the car. Oh, yes. Uh, we'll be right back for you. What should I do, Suresh Kaka? The heart finds its own way. We only need to listen. Apne dil ka suno. Time, but it would be unfair to you and to myself if I let us go through with this. Dear Auntie and Uncle, I hope you can forgive me. Mira, why did you go off? Open it right now. Amazing, as always. We even made a Sila celebrity cry. It's a good thing, silly. We wiped all of our ex's sabotage right off the web. Everyone deserves a second chance. Mira, you got this. There is a reason you are on New York's 30 under 30 list. Founder, CEO, who code their own products don't just happen. Silas Avery won't know what hit him. The tech is good, right? Mm -hmm. We need to help multiple companies go public. Are we at that level? It'd be crazy not to invest. Oh, we need this investment to get out of beta. Hey, you think we went too far with the sites? No, it's personalized. These people love personalized. Even Dawn likes it. And if your CFO likes it, you know you're gonna be okay. Oh, 
right. Greetings, my totally platonic co-worker. Lovely weather we're having, right? I told him I don't want a serious relationship, so he's been greeting me with small talk all day. Mm, sure. You two are so weird. And you, girl, are about to make history, okay? Oh. Uh, hey, honey. Um, hi. Hi. What, what are you doing here? I just wanted to wish you good luck on your big day. Uh, ah, uh, yes. Thank you for the apps of support. Oh. Here, look alive. Here comes Dawn with Silas. Please disappear immediately. Go, go, go. Silas, this is Mira Kumar, our CEO, and Leslie, co-founder and marketing whiz. Ladies, this is... Ah, Silas Averly. So good to meet you. It really is. Uh, I'm sorry, my hands are covered in a dense polymer lotion that might ignite when they come into contact with greasy skin. And, well... Yes. Of course. Um, could I get you something to eat or drink? We're going to order lunch. I'm fasting. The body goes into ketosis after 36 hours. Mm -hmm. Dear God, can we just do this, please? Yes. Yeah, okay. For centuries, people used to just live their lives, make mistakes, and learn from them. But these days, even the smallest miscalculations can haunt you forever. That naked photo your jerk ex put on Pornhub. Or that mugshot from those drunken college escapades in Myrtle Beach. Honestly, any type of humiliating thing that shouldn't cost you your career and important relationships in your life. There are services, expensive ones that only the wealthy can afford, that can scrub information from the net. But we want to bring that technology to the average person. We want to help them start again. Start Again's algorithm will quickly scour the internet and help suppress harmful search results. Essentially, you get a clean slate. To demonstrate, we have spun up a few articles about someone you may recognize. Is that me? I'm sorry, did you fabricate pictures of me? Yes, um, in this scenario, you're an alcoholic and a serial streaker. And by the way, I've made these masterpieces all by myself. These are some examples of the kinds of lies that can get out there. Mm -hmm. But Start Again will find sites like this and make them disappear, using online trading technology that is on par with the CIA. What did you do? Did you publish these? Why am I getting 50 Google alerts with my name on it? No, 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 this is, no, so we checked the code yesterday. Everything was working. What's that? Where's the freaking remote? It'll take just a few hours to fix. It's a small error. No, you'll pay for one of these sites to erase all that. The expensive ones, the ones that work. Or you're gonna have a libel case on your hands. Silas. Uh, open the door. <sighs> Silas, please, just hear me out. It's a small error. It just, it's a small fix in the code. <sighs> stop. Can you stop, please? I'm, I'm trying to do some work here. So am I. I gotta keep trim. The circ isn't woke yet. The body shaming. Just a few more and I'll be good to go again. Glad you can fit me in. <sighs> of course. Relationship 101, ABS, always be supportive. What's wrong? Maybe I can help. Do you know 256-bit encryption? No. Then you can't help. Look, I may not know coding, but I can do this. I appreciate your body. I really do. I just, I need to figure out what happened here. Do you want to sex about it instead? Mm -hmm. 
So that table is a rental, actually, though it'll probably be repossessed. There is nothing wrong with the demo code. I have gone over it half a dozen times in the last few days. I just spoke to our baggers. They put the next drawdown on hold till we figure out what went wrong. But not too harsh the vibe, but we could have been hacked. Hacked. Also, most of our engineers have given in their two-week notice. If we were hacked, then the underlying tech is good. So we just need to beef up the security and then prove it to them. So is that like a five minute thing, a five day thing? Is there anything we can be doing to help besides sitting on our asses waiting? I can't do anything until we can update our servers. That costs, and we need a team for that. You mean the one that's quitting? There's, there's gotta be a way. <clears throat> You know I can see you guys. What's going on here? I'm not calling them. Them? Who's them? It's a long story. Mira has an inheritance in India. Guess it's not that long of a story. Great! Go call them! It's not that simple. She can't get in unless she's married to an Indian guy. Yeah, she was gonna get married years ago, but then she ran away from it. On her wedding day. Could have left that bit out. You know, I knew a runaway bride. I am not a runaway bride. We're running out of time. I've gotta go talk to the accountant. Mira, it's worth a shot, okay? There's nothing to lose except for what, pride? Right? <laughs> Fine. I don't know what I'm gonna tell them. Govita, come along. Mira is calling. What? What's she calling for? She barely talks to us. I don't know, but I'm answering it. Come. How are you both? You're still alive? Stop it. Hello, Vita. So good to see you. You too. Um, Nelson, the reason that I'm calling is because I have... Uh, I've missed you. And I'm hopeful that we can have a fresh start. I have been thinking about uh, how much I want us to be closer. That's it. Why is that? I need a little tiny bit of cash. A, a little cash. Ah. So, you are calling us because you want us to bail you out. After barely talking to us for years. After leaving your room stranded at the altar. After saying to- I, I was wrong. And you, I, you were right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you run that by me again? You were right. And it would be great if I could get my inheritance if you can't loan me anything. Well, I didn't write the will. You know, my sister only entrusted us with it. You can overwrite it, right? No. You know, there are many things I didn't agree with my sister on, but she was extremely explicit about this part. Also, Vita, your mom didn't want you to be alone. You must be married to satisfy the terms of the trust. Maybe you can do something? <laughs> Can't. Uh, okay. Hey, Auntie <laughs> G, Uncle. Okay, if I may just advocate for Mira here. You need to advocate for yourself first. For the last four months, I've been sending you good morning messages every single morning and not a peep out of you. I expected a little bit better from my nephew. Mira can advocate for herself. Well, the reason that I'm actually calling is, is because I... <laughs> I'm married. Yeah, yeah, I am married um, to, to an Indian guy. And you are going to love him. Whoa. That's splendid news, Mira. Mm -hmm. Why weren't we invited for the wedding? I wanted it to be a surprise. Surprise! When did this happen? Oh, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Lovely. We are so thrilled for you. What lovely? We haven't met them yet. What's this boy's name? Oh, Auntie, don't get bogged down in the details. I will I will tell you later. Question, um, do you just want me to send you a picture or uh, can you take my word for it? <laughs> <laughs> no, Beta, it's not so simple. Uh, we are talking about a lot of money here. So you need to come home with the husband, show us the marriage certificate, sign paperwork with the lawyers, and then and only then will you have your money. Don't worry, we'll arrange 
arrange everything. You just get here within a week because we're going on holiday soon. Hmm? Call me tomorrow. We'll discuss this. Bye, Peter. Love you. How the hell am I going to find a fake husband in a week? Oh, hello, how are you? Yeah. All good? Yeah, that's great. Auntie, I love your daughter. This is probably how your aunt and uncle felt looking at proposals. <laughs> Rakesh Pillai. Uh, uh, Rakesh Pillai. Okay. Do not worry, your fake future husband is out there. Maybe. Hi. Uh, a little more, okay? Okay. Uh, just give me a moment uh, to internalize. <clears throat> oh. 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 Mm. You messed with the wrong woman, auntie. Mm. Next. On the beat. Huh? The main state of Mumbai. I ran. Killing makes money, but it's not fun. I had me some roomies, but they got shot with a gun. Yeah, bro, uh, are you okay? Peace. Namaskar, baby. My name is Todd. Hey. You're a white guy. I just have one small requirement. Yeah. Actually, I'm married and I have six children. No, sorry. That's it. We can try again. Do another casting. I think the polyamorous father of six is your best bet, given you're in your spinsterhood. So, shall I block your dates? The more I think about the back end of the code, something is wrong. Mira, focus. Fake husband. Mm. Oh, honey, don't touch your face like that. It's only going to make you break out, and you don't want that for tonight. What's tonight? The 30 under 30 cocktail reception. Oh, what? No, 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 no. I can't go to that. They're going to know I'm a fraud. The whole industry is full of frauds, OK? So how about you go full Elizabeth Holmes on them and get that money? Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone can see right through me. Well, you better shove that imposter syndrome right up your... I mean, you're a genius coder and you care about the people you help. You've created a deeply impactful company. The one that's about to be sued by the most important investor in the city. Details. <gasps> I see some feisty hunks by the shrimp. Let's go get that bread. Can I get a Manhattan, please? And could you move those peanut allergy? Is there a cherry shortage? You already have three on there. Mm, I won't. <laughs> wow, rookie. Can't even hold your cherries. <laughs> so funny, except I could have died. Well, you know, honestly, that probably would have been salvation from all these investor types. <laughs> Shit, Silas. You okay? Mm, it's so, so good. Um, do you mind staying right there and blocking me from that angle? I'm Rama, by the way. <laughs> Mira. <clears throat> so, Mira, what are we, uh, what are we hiding from? The bringer of darkness, leader of worlds, come soul crusher. He's on your six o'clock. Wow, tense. Mm. So what brings you here? Wow, we're pulling out all the classics. Uh, I am on the list. Oh, what a coincidence, oh my. What are the odds? What do you do? I run a company called Dinner Time. The celebrity chef thing. I've used it. Oh, you're the one. <laughs> How'd you get all the chefs on board? Let me guess, threaten them with hours of banter. You know what? Close, but no. My parents wanted me to do that stereotypical Indian thing, you know, become a lawyer or a doctor or take over the family business, but um, I wanted to do something else. I know the feeling. I love to cook, and I was a chef for a while, made a lot of great friends, celebrity ones, and I guess I just realized that I would never be as good as them, so I did the next best thing, dinner time. Might have been easier just to do the Indian thing. You know what? Honestly, it probably would have, but, um, I guess life has a funny way of making other plans. What about you? What's your 30 under 30 claim to fame? Oh, mine is an app that erases your past. Wow, you know, I could honestly use that. I had this 
awful hairstyle back in college. Shaggy hair with blonde highlights. Yeah, there's, there's photos on Facebook. It's, it's pretty bad. He's gone, by the way. Who is? Silas Averly. I'm assuming that was your eater of worlds. You know him. Yeah, he's one of my investors. Of course he is. Here. Uh, excuse me a moment. Thank you. Who's that? Oh, the creator of Dinner Time. Oh, he's cute. <gasps> what about him? What about him what? Fake husband. Uh, no, 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 he has a job. Did you ask him? Of course not. I'll ask. No, don't do that. <clears throat> okay. Hello, Mira. Silas, what a wonderful surprise. Um, what are you doing here? Well, obviously I'm 30 under 30 alumni, but now I'm a mentor. Of course you are. I'm glad you're here. Really? It saves me the trouble of having to serve you at home. Serve you at home. <clears throat> the papers, this is your cue to give her the papers. <sighs> Consider yourself served. Have a wonderful night. Mira. I hear you're looking for a fake husband. He said yes. Uh, are you serious? We can't pay you much or... Oh, no, you don't, you don't have to pay me anything. I go to India every couple years. Maybe this will just spice it up a little bit. You have no idea how much you'd be helping me out. I, and if you met my family, you have enough spice for a couple of trips. <laughs> Sounds like a deal. I, honestly, this is how I imagine my wedding would always be. Fake wedding, marriage. Of course, mm. yes. Straight on the up and up. Except for the lying in the fakery. Except for the lying in the fakery. Of course. Oh my God, I have a lot to do. I have to tell my boyfriend that I have a fake husband. Okay, I will see you all later. Let's see, please. Oh boy. This is the weirdest breakup ever. This isn't a breakup, it's... You said that you would support me, right? Like, ABS or whatever. Well, so what, am I supposed to hang out with you and your fake husband? Is it like a threesome thing? What? No. I'm confused. I'll be back in like a week. Oh, yo, the CERT group chat is going off. Jebediah, the tightrope guy, needs a sub for the night. Don't injure your junk unless it's in the bunk. That's what I always say. Right, Mira? Uh, Don? Hey, what's up? Silas offered to drop the charges if we sell our tech to him. N no, 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 no. No, we can't do that. We can't? That is definitely off the table. We're running out of options, Mira. Okay, bye. State champion of in high school. Oh, debate is so be. annoying to argue with. Debate, debate, for sure. Correct. Yeah, no brainer. Uh, Tamira, are you there? Can you hear me? Don wants to give the company to Silas. What? It's the only way he'll drop the lawsuit. Well, that brought the boot down. You have the fake marriage certificate, right? Uh, no, I think that's in your bag. Oh, oh right, right. Thanks again for doing this. Hey, is great. Really, your favorite color? Or are you just being contrarian? Ha 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 ha. Just remember the plan. Oh, and share enough so that, you know, they know that you know me. Are you, are you okay with the boundaries? Because, you know, with the spunty. Oh, yeah, no, we're just friends. It's okay. I don't want anything serious anyway. Great. We need them. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, how much? 300. Three. Wait, Mira. Yeah. That's something I want to give you. What's 
this? It's a ring. You know, to add authenticity to your elaborate and well thought out plan. Whoa. That, I, I, I didn't get you. That's okay. When I realized that I just grabbed a band of the duty free. I'm simple. He's simple. There's Ooh. nothing simple about that ring. <laughs> Suresh Kaka. Me, Rabbit. I missed you. I missed you too. This is Suresh Kaka. He's worked with my aunt and uncle since I can remember. <laughs> Suresh Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically family. Uh, I'll take your pass. Okay, now listen. I know I told you that my aunt can be very cold, so don't expect like a warm welcome. Honestly, I'd be surprised if she even acknowledged you. She just... Yeah, you are. Auntie. Welcome, welcome. Aap sabhi ka swagat hai. Hi. Hi. Is <laughs> Rama? Namaste. I'm Rama. Welcome to the family. Oh, what a lovely boy. He knows how to respect his elders. Puru, you are looking rather American. Hmm? Oh, you liking what you see, Auntie Ji? Huh? <laughs> welcome. I'm good. Puru. You must be Meera's friend, the lovely Leslie. Well, yes, that is me. I am the lovely Leslie. <laughs> Welcome. Our home is your home. Please, come on in, everyone. Okay, come. perfect. They're fantastic. Welcome home. Come, come sit. We'll get the luggage in. Wow, you didn't tell me you left a mansion. That was really dumb. Really. Oh, wow. Now, I want to know everything about drama. And why you didn't invite us to the wedding. Or didn't even tell us. Please, uh, forgive us, Auntie. Right. Please, forgive us. It's actually entirely my fault. Mira is completely innocent here. We got married in a hurry because of what Panditji told us. Oh? What did he say? Well, he told us it's a very auspicious time to get married. Maha, Shu, Muhura. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Sun and Moon, and the stars were all aligned. Of course, I refused and said that I will not get married without the blessing of Mir's family. But he insisted and said that Maha Shubhmurat is for that day only and, and that if we don't get married on this day, our, our marriage would only last one lifetime instead of seven. Well, I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I agreed. Wow, I had no idea, that's beautiful. Anyway, I assured Mira that once you knew the truth, you would understand and you'd forgive us. Do you think I made the right choice, Auntie? Of course. Mahashubh Muhurat doesn't happen every day, does it? Hmm? Truly is a miracle. Oh yeah, there's no other word for it. <laughs> this is my marriage certificate. Um, no need to, you know, check it on it with lawyers or anything. It's, it's all in the oven ups. <laughs> Always in a hurry for the most important things in life. We have plenty of time for that after the party. Hmm? Par party? What party? <laughs> you know, she's always had this independent streak about her. Come on, Meera. You don't think after getting married and coming all the way from America to India, we wouldn't want to celebrate with our relatives? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Silly of us. <laughs> anyway, um, you must be so tired after the long trip. So, freshen up, take a nap, and we will meet right back here for dinner. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, I hope you like what I've done to your room. Mm? Love birds. Go on. <laughs> uh, Puru, you can take her to the second guest room, yes? Oh, okay. Hey, your family's really nice. Nice? You thought that was nice. Oh, yeah, no, you're, you're right. They're, they're awful, really, really terrible people. Congrats. You are now caught in her web. You watch, now she's gonna try to control every aspect of your life. <laughs> Is this about the party? Yes. Two minutes here and she's already planning our itinerary. And then she has the gall to call me too independent. Classic. Who lights candles during the day? Uh, millions of people, actually, you know, for prayers, for wishes, for love. Look, I'll admit, what you did out there, impressive. But this is a business deal, and you're like my employee. 
Okay, boss. The reason that we are here is so that I can sign some papers so that Don doesn't have to settle with Silas and then I can save my company. Okay, so could you just not fall into her web? Okay, sure. Next time I see her, I'll watch out for those fangs when she offers me Ladoo. See this? This is my nightmare. This is your nightmare. Roses are your nightmare. Yes! It's, it's also presumptuous. What, that we're newlyweds in love instead of employee-employer? I mean, I wonder who could have given her that idea. You know what, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get changed, because I have been in these clothes forever, and uh, I gotta get in touch with the office, so. I'm sorry. My aunt just knows how to get under my skin. I appreciate you. Appreciate you too. Also, I'm taking the bed. And I just spilled the whole thing. And that's how I made Gordon Ramsay cry in his own kitchen. <laughs> you know, I, I realize like most people who hide behind bravado, there's just a scared little child who fears rejection. Oh, another great story. And how true. <laughs> you, you have such amazing stories. Unlike Mira, who's always sulking at the table like she's doing now. Okay, I am I'm not sulking. Um, it just, this is, so spicy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's not spicy at all. Yeah. You know, I, I find that Indian food has an evolving heat, whereas uh, American heat just kind of bashes you in the face with cayenne. Uh, lacks the sultry sophistication of Kashmiri red chili. Exactly. Mira, it must be so nice to have a man who has taste. <laughs> How did the two of you meet? Do tell. Um, at a party. Online. Um, actually, I saw her photo online. Uh, you know, she's in New York's 30 Under 30. Really? Amira? Oh, yeah. oh, yes. She's very modest about her accomplishments, much like you, Auntie. Oh, yes, <laughs> I have been known to be very humble. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I was at a party one evening, and she was there. And I swear, it was as if the air in the room shifted the moment that she walked in. You know how in our Bollywood movies, there's that moment where a love song plays, and all our hero sees is his heroine? and the tide of his life suddenly veers. Well, it was exactly like that. I approached her, and when I looked into her eyes, they were like warm pools of sunshine that I could lose myself in. And when she touched my hand, it, well, it felt as if a thousand arrows from Kamadeva's bow had just gone straight into my heart. Hmm. Oh, Kamadeva is, uh, is the OG Cupid, but instead of being a, a chubby baby, he's uh, a handsome young man, and his arrows are made of flowers. I love flowers. Well, needless to say, I was smitten. And when I saw the roses that you left on our bed, I was reminded of that ancient tale and how I fell in love with your niece. So thank you, Auntie. That was very thoughtful of you. And Mira loved them too, didn't you? Yeah, roses. <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> Nothing I like more than a thorny rose bush. I knew you'd like the petals. Didn't I say so, Om? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Darling, can I see you for a private moment? Or just having a nice little... Oh, I need you now. Ooh. Not like that. <laughs> Love sure. Yeah. Love oh, Auntie, Come please. On. Don't be silly. <gasps> cute, cute. <laughs> cute, cute. Cheers, guys. Oh, the cheers. food is amazing. Thank you. What was that? What was what? Look, if you have ulterior motives... Ulterior motives? My aunt and uncle will not be investing in dinner time. <laughs> I have investors. What are you... What are you after with this charm offensive you've got going on? Telling wild tales about Hindu gods? Okay, those are not wild tales. That's our culture that everyone's borrowed from. You know, there would be no Cupid if it wasn't for us. Look, maybe I'm this way because, I don't know, that's who I am and I want to help you. Look, Mira... My father owns hotels. Okay, it's the family business. But I was cut off when I decided to go on my own way too, all right? It was a struggle. So I get that about you more than you might know. I also get that you want to show the world who you are, so you try to work harder than anyone, and sometimes so hard that you lose yourself to who you want to be, and in the end, you're none of those people. 
and sometimes that's the loneliest place on earth. I'm not lonely. I have a boyfriend, I think. And you don't know me. You're rigid and you're weird. And by weird, I mean the best possible kind, okay? But you're cold and distant to even your closest friends, right? You've probably been through a lot of meaningless relationships because you've had your heart broken by friends, by family, by men that you put your trust in. So, I mean, you, you don't seem to trust anyone or anything except for that gnawing gut feeling inside you that tells you, I can be great and I can do great things. And you can and you will. You think I'm weird. And you think I'm charming. I guess we both hear what we want to, don't we? <laughs> I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, nothing. Okay, great. So, uh, your auntie wants you back. She wants to talk party details. We'll be on in a minute. Take your time. This is just business. Mm, see, cold and distant. You forgot weird. Come in. Oh, now you want my charm. Okay. What's really going on, Guru? Huh? Kapitan Tee. Nothing, I'm just uh, thirsty. You've been avoiding me. Me? No, I'm not. Yes. Okay, I've been waiting you. Yes. But you've been so busy with party plans and everything else. I was like, okay, you know. Stop this, Puru. You know, there's no excuse for you to not go and see your mother. She doesn't even know you're in India. And she's even found a lovely girl from Jaipur to meet you. Yeah. Um, I will call her. It's just I've also been so busy with Mira's company and uh, just tiny little bumps here and there and nothing, nothing really. I think I'm gassy. You're a strange boy, Puru. You could learn a thing or two from Rama. Well, there's something about him that... No, he's a great guy. He's amazing. He's loving, he's loyal, he's caring, he's uh, married to Meera. <laughs> um, listen, you scared me when you jumped out. I have to go and pee. Anji? So should I care what's going on between Silas Averly and your company? Everything went haywire when I did our presentation. This is what happens when you Google him. Oh, wow. He's a serial streaker now. No. We created these fake sites and our app was supposed to delete them. It was going to be very, very impressive. Yeah, I know some people that paid a lot of money to delete stuff about themselves from the internet. Exactly, and not everyone especially younger people, can afford that, and it should be accessible. Right. Well, sounds like your app would be important to a lot of people. Oh, well, it didn't delete them. Instead, it published the fake sites. So now Salas is suing us, and the only way he will settle is if we give him the tech. So my company is doomed unless we... Can beef up servers, enhance encryption, and figure out what went wrong with your code. Exactly. Let me see. We're going on the theory that whoever hacked it doesn't want a low-pay app like ours available. Interesting UI. Or workshop that UI to death. Your start button. Shouldn't that say restart? I mean, that's what you're helping people do, right? Huh. Actually, a good idea. You got cut from your family business. That must have been hard. Are you and your parents not close? Um... My dad and I, we were close, but uh, things got tense over me not marrying, and then, well, the family business was the last straw. But you visit them every couple of years, right? Yeah, mostly to see my mom, you know, spend the week with her. We should see him. Yeah, and you should make up with your aunt. At least you guys are in the same house together. What happened with you two, anyway? Well, good news. Your core code is great. It's difficult to get around. It would uh, take big money to launch a cyber attack like that. More like, how big? Google big? Could be. Hello, Didi. Guru, I left my door unlocked last night. 
Remember? Andy, look to the deer. Come on. Trish Kaka is waiting. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to see Mumbai, the city of... I don't know what the city of, but I cannot wait to see it. Uh, you guys go on ahead. I'll catch up. What is it? An opportunity. my family all the time. Yeah, we used to come during Diwali. Oh, I love the fireworks. <laughs> that is Kalagoda, meaning black horse. Kalagoda. Kalagoda. I think we should take a picture next to Kalagoda. Yeah, sure. I think a company picture there would be great. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Why is he being so weird? I just want to take a picture. You did say you don't want a real relationship. Well, yeah, but I don't want this, though. <laughs> Beautiful. It's just like my mom's. Oh, she must have had good taste. Yeah, she did. I miss her. Mira! <laughs> we did a thing in high school. Hi! Hi. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mimi, Karina and I heard you were back. We were at the gym, yeah. Kana. Just thought of checking out the nicest stores across the street. And you must be the Prince Charming that we've heard so much about. Oh, no, I'm just some guy that she paid to play her husband. <laughs> uh, he's hilarious. <laughs> Rama, um, this is Jayanti and Karina. I can't believe you got married after uh, Yeah, 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 me. That's me married, of course, me with this guy. This hunk of a guy. <laughs> okay, we need a major catch-up. Oh, yes, seriously. You're thinking what I'm thinking. Yeah? No, 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 I, I don't... Wait, what? Karina, catch-up. Club Euphoria, they've got the hottest act playing tonight. Ah, uh, I know. We just... We'd love to go. Perfect. Yes. It'll be just like old times, Mira. I'll text you the deeds. Don't make me come get you. I know where you live. Hmm. And now you too. Okay then. See you in the evening. Hi. That was fun. What was that? I am trying to forget my past, not relive it. Oh, I'm sorry you screamed in unison. I thought that's what you wanted. What I want is for everyone to please just stick to the plan so we can get the inheritance and go back to our lives in New York. I asked for a swan. Why are there ducks in my house? Choo! Krishna, get rid of those now. I like ducks. What's all this? Who are these people? Party planners, decorators. Auntie, we really need to talk about this party. I don't want to... Ah, that's cancelled. Oh. Great. Fantastic. I figured after seeing your marriage certificate, the best thing to do was to cancel your party. Oh, wait, wait, why? Is there something wrong with the certificate? Because it's a super real printed sign. Uh, 
She's crossed eyes dotted. <laughs> yeah, witnessed by us, Leslie and I. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the certificate. Great. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. why wouldn't it be? Could I actually get the inheritance then? Oh, of course. Amazing. After the wedding. The what? Why throw a party? When you can throw a wedding. I already had one. Yes, in the eyes of the court, but not in the eyes of God. You know, I was under the illusion that the Pandit Ji actually married you guys. Oh, uh, Auntie, um, he just told us about the day. He, he was busy. He was um... fishing. He was busy fishing. He's an avid fisher. Um, it was also an auspicious time to go out fishing and uh, what did he say? Mahi Mahi Shumuhurta and just went out fishing. Yeah. But we were all there. Yeah. Myself, Mira, Rama, the very Ampani Puru. Be that as it may, God has decided to tell me that this is our chance to. Oh, how did you say? Uh, start again? We can't do it. Oh. We have to go back. We can't plan a wedding. What's Kavita Auntie here for? Hmm? I will handle everything. Not to worry. Oh, we've got to discuss that. Mm -hmm. I have to tell her. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> um, we're... We're gonna go out tonight to celebrate. Mm -hmm. I, I thought we were gonna need a car, but... We're gonna take a cab. <laughs> yeah, take a cab. it's the best. It's, it's the best. It's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Take a cab. Hmm? See, see you. You, can you please get these ducks out of my house? I need a drink. Again, I'm going to drink the past away. What about Auntie? Mm. She can have fun tonight too, and then tomorrow I will tell her the truth and crush her dreams. Okay. <laughs> you are definitely fun. <laughs> <laughs> a great dancer and so cute you okay yeah perfect never better <laughs> i'm surprised you caught this one she is a runner i mean uh, she was quite a wild child back in school yeah but my baby has tamed the bcc why would you baby hey we all have a past you know, as long as you don't let it affect your future and that's exactly why mira came up with the best app ever honestly She's the smartest woman I know. Oh, that's so sweet. So, Puru, remember when you put the moves on me back in school? I'm all grown now, and I'd like to show you some moves of my own. Yeah. Didn't you get married? Took a leave out of your playbook. No ring on this finger. Trying to convince Karina to do the same, but she's a romantic, just like Rama. What? I just love my husband. That's boring. Loosen up a little. But things change, you know. You've grown into such a sexy man. Hey, party people! The moment you all have been waiting for. Meera, you're going to love this. I'm so sorry. Give a loud welcome to our headliner back in his hometown for one night only. DJ X! DJ in the house! He used to DJ my basement parties and now he tunes the world. Hot, right? What's wrong? Meera? Uh, he's also Meera's ex-boyfriend. She used to be crazy about him. Set this D 
DJX was a dork. Dork no more. Oh, and she's still doing the same stupid shit she did when we were teens. We can split. No, it is time to die. Bathroom? Seriously. I just wanted to ask you. Mira. Hey, Dex. What is up? <laughs> <laughs> well, when Jayanti told me that you were coming for my show, I could not believe it. You were the one DJing? Yeah. I barely noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can we go to something quiet? Mira. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm not even drunk. Sure. Let us go. Yeah, let's go. To the DJ. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. So, did you like my show? I don't get DJs. Like you're not like real musicians. A lot of like boop 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 for spuns, but whatever. People people like it or whatever. I was pretty good at pushing your buttons. Remember, Mira? All I remember is you pushing the angry button and the sad button. You bailed on me when they tried to get me married off. I mean, it's it's okay. I'm married now. I got proof. Proof. Mira, we were kids, really. And babe, trust me, it took me a long time to realize that you were the one that got away. Yeah. Why and come and find me during your so-called realization? I'm not like Walt. They're pretty easy to find. Um, it's, it's all fake. What? It's all fake anyway. What? Me, what? Me, 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 Mira. If I could just hit start, restart, yeah. Yeah. start again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I could get that app to work, I swear. Wow, what, what are you doing? Wait up. You just said you wanted oh. to restart. Not, not on us. Come on, Mira. You wanted to. Mira, you okay? Hey, look at me. See, I'm so sorry. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, well, I'm thinking it was ever one of your strong suits. Mm. This guy give you peanuts or something? Well, it was an accident, bro. Hi, X. Yeah, I'm Rama, her husband. Oh, so you were the dude who locked it down. Congrats, buddy. And I'm so sorry for the peanut clips. Did you kiss her? Yeah, she's fine. She's fine, bro. She could have died. Where do you get off kissing my wife? Bro, relax. It is harmless, okay? And look, she's still breathing. Right. She's okay. Hey. Oh. Hey, bro, relax. It's harmless. You're still breathing. You just said the same line. <laughs> okay. Never. 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 Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm just like, I got all of it out of me. I'm <laughs> yeah. great. Yes, you did.
Okay, let's get you up here. Hey, Mira, I need to tell you something. I haven't been completely honest with you. Um, I'm not who you think I am. I am, I just, yeah. You had? It's almost noon. Stayed up late. Oh God. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess I, we just sleep really well together. <laughs> Honey, can I see you a sec? Can we out of you? Yes, please. I can't take it. You should just let me tell her the truth. Yeah, but then your company would be ruined. I left so that I could live my truth. Why am I having to lie to live it? I don't know. Maybe we could live it a little longer until you... What? Get married? For real? Why? I don't know. I think what your company is doing is important. You know, we've already come so far. We can get annulled. You can tell people that I was too good for you. They would definitely believe that. Why are you so nice to me? Yeah, actually, you know, when I first met you, I thought you were way too into yourself. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. But then I realized you're just passionate. And even though that passion can be infuriating, it's what makes you who you are. And if I can be a part of keeping that fire, then hey, that's a win for me. And if it's any comfort, it'll still be a sham marriage. Is that what you want? A sham? What is it? Uh, it's my mom. Take it. Shouldn't ignore a clock from my mom. Hey, Emma. How are you? How's dad? Yeah, I'd love to see you. You gonna cook? Okay. Yeah, I'll be there. They're still not back yet. No. Um, I think they ran away and eloped. <laughs> you know, this whole pretending thing might work for Mira, but I miss you. Kavita Auntie will never know. Are you sure? Because I thought you wanted this to be casual. I did. It was a defense mechanism. But 
being out here, you've really grown on me. Oh. I'm a girl, I think I'm just saying. But if you want to keep it on the DL, I get it. Auntie scares me, you know, and I've got these old fashioned parents and she's got them on speed dial, it's crazy. Well, you gotta man up. Oh, I can man up, baby. Oh, can you? Do you want me to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chris! Hey, guys! Well, what are you doing here, man? Grand gesture, bro. I read about it online. Chicks dig it, and I dig Mira. That's love. Plus, I've not had sex in like a week. That is love for sure. Um, listen. She's not here. Yeah, she's not here. No, this is ridiculous. This is India. Come on, bro, let's go. Um, she just left for a flight. You know what? We'll get to the airport. What? Yeah. She read the same article as you. Grand gestures. Grand gestures, man. Go surprise her mid-flight. Sing her a song from an Adam Sandler film. Oh, that's solid advice. Yeah. But I got a crap voice. I could pirouette. For sure, man. I'm sure airlines love it when people like jump around in their planes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's go. I'm not running a petting zoo here. I am trying to hold a wedding. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Auntie, aren't we a pair? What are you doing here? I live here. What's going on outside? Someone here? Oh, yeah. Jaldi karo unko airport leke ke jao. Bas no. Thoda lamba rasta tak karna, okay? Uh, get off. All right, brother. Yeah. See you, man. See you. Okay, have All a right. good flight. <laughs> oh, that guy. You funny story. He's an acrobat, and I thought he might be nice for the reception. It's different. Yeah, he could swing from the arches. Wow, tourists, huh? That guy was looking for an ashram. I said, dude, does this look like an ashram to you? I sent him right on his way. I thought he was an acrobat. An acrobat? Yeah, an acrobat. At the ashram, of course. Yeah, um... Anyway, lots to do. Gotta go. See you. Bye. <laughs> Om, do you think Puru should tell some jokes at the reception? No, I don't think. <laughs> oh, I'd pay to see that. Yeah? Finally, where have you guys been? We have to ask you something. When's the wedding? Oh, she's got his name in there. You know, they say that if the color doesn't catch, it's a bad omen. Mm. So make sure you don't use your hands until it's dry, okay? Chalo, I'm chilly. I can't believe you're doing this. I mean, I can, it's obvious. What is? I've seen the way you look at Rama when you think he can't see you. I, that's, that's not what it, it's business. Is he giving you the business? Shut up. Go, go and get me a drink, okay? How? <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Rama. Ooh, you look nice. Oh, thank you. What is this? This is lemon and sugar. Keep the Mendy moist so it catches darker. Darker catches, better your luck. You know, I actually just heard that. Mm -hmm. Although you said it in a more glass half full kind of way. How do you know this? <laughs> well, I have two sisters, so they used to practice on me, mostly hanging stupid things on my face. <laughs> but trust me, this is the secret to my clear complexion, lemon mm. and sugar. Your parents coming to the wedding? No, I just said that out loud. Wedding. <laughs> um, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's my dad's, well, uh, yeah. You should go see them. I made a lot of bad choices, because 
I didn't have them around to guide me. Well, you have your aunt and uncle. Kind of. My aunt got thrust from this friend role to this parent role. And I didn't really want a new mom. They tried their best, but I guess we just never really got through it. Can't change the past. Hey. It's okay. We're figuring it out now. Thanks to you, honestly. You kind of like me, don't you? Shut up. Hey, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Wait. Change in the past. I'm so stupid. That's it. I don't have time. Work. Sorry about that. What are you doing? Need help? I'm just checking all the code mergers from the days before the presentation. It's gonna take a while, but you should be able to connect the timestamps from the server computers to the user profile that made all the changes. Okay. Hey, look at that. You mainly took. Guess I'm not doomed after all. <laughs> when things got crazy. I guess it was laced with some psychedelics. We had this great chat, pure mental communication through our third eyes. And then we ended up at this local ashram, right? And they bring out a tiger and they want me to fight the tiger. And I was scared. But I looked at the tiger's eyes and he was scared too. And that's when I knew we were one. So I went over to him and I said, <laughs> and impressed all the locals. And they said, you are our new monk. It took me a couple hours, but I achieved enlightenment, which isn't as much as everyone makes it out to be. Don't worry about it if you never get there. And then when I came back to the city, I met this beautiful woman. Uh, there she is. She brought me here to Mira's wedding. Do you see? So now when they ask if anybody objects, I'm gonna jump up and make my move. Yeah, I don't think that happens in Indian weddings, man. Okay. Bro, I think she's moved on. And you should go back home. He's my plus one guru. Yeah. It's sad, you know, he could use some more ohms. Definitely. You can't run away this time. I've bolted all the windows. Oh, let her be. Mira, we are here for you. She's just happy that I'm finally having an Indian wedding. Tell her. Just tell me. You know, you know when you came to us, you were already so independent, smart, free-spirited. I didn't know how to be a good mother to you. But that's all I really wanted to be. So I did the next best thing, to honor my sister's final wishes that when you got married, you would get your inheritance and you could go away to live a new life with a new family. The best thing he could do to support you was to let you go, Mira. Although all I really wanted was for you to stay. But you know, I'm so proud of you. You're finding somebody to love all on your own. We're so glad you're finally home. They're letting us do this for you. 
I know that back then I was difficult. I guess I was blinded in my own grief, but I, I couldn't appreciate the kinds of sacrifices you both made to just try to keep me happy. And how hard it must have been for you. I'm sorry. No. I really, I really am. Oh, you got no idea what I just saw. There he is, our lovely Puru. You know, if you and Leslie want to live in sin out of wedlock, we're okay with that. What do, what do you mean? It's so obvious. You're very funny, but you're a terrible liar. Mm. <laughs> I'm game if you are. <gasps> Not here. Oh, sorry. sorry. <clears throat> I think we should give Mira a minute. Mm -hmm. hmm? You too. Let's go. You gave me some good advice before. I did not know if it was all that good. You brought me to this moment. Well, something is missing from this moment. My mother's necklace. Put it on. You know, I also lost my parents when I was very young, like you did. And that is why I think we got along so well together. Your aunt always loved you unconditionally. And tonight, she was being honest. That took a lot from her. Isn't it time you do the same? Auntie, Uncle, I can't do this. I can't deceive you. This is a sham. We're not married. Rama was just doing me a favor so I could get my inheritance. My company was in trouble and, and I just blurted out what I thought you wanted to hear. But. What's the point in success if I can't share it with my family? Mama helped me realize that what was missing from, from everything that I achieved was you two. Three. I'm so sorry. I've put you through way more than I asked for. But you... I've had the greatest time with you these last few days. I hope someday you can forgive me. Dear Groom, 
I know that I picked the worst time, but it'd be unfair to you and myself if I let us go through with this. How do you know that letter? Yeah, I've read it so many times, it's burnt on my mind. You were that group. But his name was Augustia. Americans can't pronounce Augustia, so I went with my middle name. Rama. Yeah. You did all of this just to get back at me. What? No. <laughs> Mira, what? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what I put you in. You know, go through. No. Not as much as that boy, Mira. <laughs> you know, I can't believe I didn't recognize him. I can. And considering how many boys we looked at, I may be face blind now. Gee, it's better off rid of him. I feel bad for him, though. Poor boy. What? He lied to her own. You know, I agree with Uncle. I mean, come on. The dude likes you. He's, he probably loves you. He's been pining away so long. Yeah, he's not doing this for money. He only wants you, even the parts about you that suck. You owe him a conversation. This is terrible advice you both are giving her. I won't let you influence her like this. Wait a minute. Aren't you the one who said that he was a good boy? And then when you met him, again? Yes, but that was before I knew him, no? Ah. You know, I'm sure he wants to go viral with some revenge trick. Against the girl who left him stranded at the altar or something like that. It's like that show that Puru keeps watching. He wasn't doing a punk, Tanti. Ah, that punk. <clears throat> Did your auntie ever tell you about uh, our introduction? No. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't meet with me either. What? Yeah. Your grandparents had to drag her, kicking and screaming to our house. That's not familiar, sweetheart? Is that true? My memory is foggy. And even after she came, she refused to wear any makeup or get dressed up. She came with a t-shirt, jeans, and a whole lot of attitude. She insisted she would be wearing plain clothes most of her lives, so why present herself as anyone else? Wait, so what made you say yes to her? She was different. And although I knew I would have to put up with a lot of her, what is it you kids call it nowadays? Extra. Yeah, extra. I also knew whatever that extra was, I would never be bored. Also, her ass looked amazing in those jeans. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Amma? Amma. Suresh, count the number of pieces, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna miss you guys so much. Honestly. Yeah. Thanks for calling mom and dad. So better go and see them next time. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. I'll see you sooner rather than later this time. Perhaps sooner if my company tanks. We are family. We'll cover you as much as we can. Until you finally, eventually get married. Till then, your inheritance is gaining interest. <laughs> oh, who's that? Uh, excuse me a minute.
Hi, Chris. Uh, I I'm, I'm glad you're here. Look, this thing between. I don't want you to embarrass yourself with a big speech in front of your family, but our journey has come to an end. They've asked me to play the villain in a Bollywood movie. He's a British general who joins the circus. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you in person and give you a chance to say goodbye. This is a lot to take in, but um, I am proud of you. Bye, Chris. Jalobia. Your favorite. Prodigal son returns. Still single, though, I hear. Oh, Mom told you. Didn't have to. I could smell it on you. <laughs> I really did. Gossip travels. I knew before you got into your car. I still can't believe she made a fool out of you again. She didn't make a fool out of me the first time, Dad. She actually showed me what I was supposed to be. What? A cook? A little more than a cook now. So where is your restaurant in America? Sold it. Built a successful app. You never gave up on your dream. So why are you giving up on love? Uh, I, I tricked her, Dad. Love is just a trick of the heart, isn't it? Who cares what Jadu or Kismet left to Pyar? But if she feels it too, you owe it to yourself to try. Uh, she's... she's pretty mad. If you love her, the best you could do is ask for her forgiveness. Eat. <laughs> Holy crap, I knew it. What? Did a certain groomie keep leaving at the altar just text you? I just got back the results from the analysis I sent in on the code, and we were definitely hacked. I knew it. And it originated from Averly servers. Holy crap. Silas is trying to steal our code. That's crazy. Call the FCC or the FBI or whoever handles this. Yeah. Oh, I have enough proof. We can fix this. And I'll definitely not be settling the lawsuit by giving him our tech. Do you want me to lose him? Your ancestors, man. Mira, the guy is chasing you down on a motorcycle after you dumped him twice. I think you should hear what he has to say. I don't care. Yes, you do. You might never see him again. Stop the car. Listen, we like you. But we love her. Understood? Got it. Can we talk? Look, Mira, do you know what I saw on that day we were supposed to meet for the first time? I watched you fight to forge your own path on my driveway. Sorry about the potted plant. We replaced it. Look, after you left, I was pushed even harder to marry. And then I heard that you went to America all by yourself. Like, you had the courage to fight for what you wanted. How, how could I not do the same? You inspired me. And when I saw you at that party, I recognized you instantly. And I wanted to say thank you for what you did. So why didn't you, instead of lying about literally everything? I intended to, and then I remembered that you were so opposed to the mere idea of me that you ran 10,000 miles away. Then I went and I talked to you, and you were amazing. You were funny, sweet, 
totally frantic and obsessed with your job. And then when Leslie pitched me the idea, well, I thought maybe this was my chance to show you who I really am. Stupid charm offensive. You might think that I never thought about what I did to you. But of course I did. It's young, stupid. Sometimes I even regretted it. We would have hated each other. Who says we don't know? If I never left, I would have never found my own way. But if you hadn't come into my life, I would have never found my way back. So where does it? Can hit restart. Restart, huh? That's pretty catchy. I'd be good on a button somewhere. You had one good idea. Don't let it go to your head. Hi, xin chào các bạn. Hôm nay mình sẽ hướng dẫn các bạn tô màu bức tranh của một lọ hoa. Các bạn cùng mình tô bức tranh này nhé. Chiếc lá mình tôi màu xanh Những bông hoa này mình sẽ tô màu hồng đậm Các bạn nhớ theo dõi hết video để xem thành quả của mình nhé
vậy là chỉ với ít phút mình đã hoàn thành xong bức tranh ngày hôm nay rồi đấy các bạn hãy cho mình biết ý kiến của các bạn về bức tranh này nha video của mình xin được kết thúc ở đây các bạn cũng đừng quên nhấn like và đăng ký kênh để theo dõi những video hướng dẫn thông báo tiếp theo của mình nhé bye bye xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn